Hey guys! As is widely recognized, China stands as a nation that has witnessed remarkable transformations, particularly gaining acclaim for its fervor in undertaking colossal projects to cater to its ever-expanding populace. China will build another epic megaproject in the world, the world's longest undersea tunnel. In this video, we will delve deep into how Chinese engineers harness their intelligence and construct the world's longest undersea tunnel, leaving American engineers utterly amazed. But before delving into the discussion, we kindly ask for your support by liking this video and subscribing to King Rich. Your thoughts hold significance, and you are invited to share your opinions in the comments section below. Without further delay, let's commence this extraordinary journey. Qingdao, a vibrant coastal city in northern China, has been rapidly gaining prominence as a major economic hub in the region. Situated along the picturesque coastline, Qingdao has emerged as the third largest city in northern China in terms of economic output. The Jiaozhu Bay and Jiaozhou Tunnel, completed over a decade ago, marked a watershed moment for Qingdao, catapulting it into the global spotlight as the home to the world's longest cross-sea bridge and China's reigning underwater tunnel champions. However, its ambition for growth doesn't just stop at its bustling cityscape. With an innovative twist, the city is captivating attention with an ambitious project beneath the waves. The construction of the second Jiaozhu Bay undersea tunnel, set to become the world's lengthiest underwater highway. King Dao's intimate relationship with Jiaozhu Bay is indeed a testament to the city's rich history and geographical significance. At the heart of the bay lies Qingdao Port, the world's fourth largest port, which serves as a vital economic lifeline for the city and the surrounding region. On one side of the bay, you've got the charming, historic old city of Qingdao, oozing with tradition. On the other side, you've got the flashy West Coast New Area, aka Huangdao, where development has been zooming ahead. Remember when it took ages to cross the bay by ferry? Well, those days are long gone, thanks to nifty developments like the Coastal Bay Highway. With all the buzz around the West Coast New Area, King Dao's Free Trade Zone, Economic Development Zone, and even the famous International Beer Festival decided to set up shop there. And let's talk about traffic. Nearly 200,000 vehicles zip through that passage every single day. Looking into the future, King Dao is dreaming big with plans to build new cross-sea routes to relieve pressure on the previous expressway while keeping the city bustling day and night. Cheer for that! Step right up and get ready to hear about Jiaozhu Bay, second undersea tunnel. Stretching an impressive 14.37 kilometers with a whopping six lanes in each direction, it's a true engineering feat plunging down to depths of 115 meters below sea level. We're talking about tunneling into the great unknown here. Now, let's talk about geology. Huangdao shows off its rugged granite, while Qingdao brings its own unique blend of soft gray limestone and sandy layers to the table. But here's where it gets interesting. There are 22 faults lurking around, with the mighty Kanku Fault looming large, spanning over 200 meters. We've got a few options here on the table, each with its own pros and cons. First up, there's the tried-and-true drill-and-blast method, which is versatile enough to handle both hard and soft rock. Then, there's the shield tunnel boring machine method and the immersed tube method. However, immersed tubes are pricey and not so great for the environment, so we're ruling those out. As for TVMs, while they're tempting, the significant risks they carry in our situation with a cross-sectional diameter of 15.6 meters and water depths exceeding 100 meters make us think twice about using them. So, what's our winning strategy? We're leaning towards a combination of drilling and blasting with shield tunneling. It's like having the best of both, a rock and roll show and precision engineering. We kicked things off with the drill and blast operation, where engineers drilled 254 meter deep holes into the granite wall. Then they placed sausages, I mean sausage-shaped explosives that fit perfectly into these holes, blowing up the front wall with absolute precision. Then, to create a tunnel that can withstand the pressure above, engineers will reinforce it with three layers of concrete with a waterproof layer in the middle. However, if it were that easy, anyone could build a tunnel, right? As we just mentioned to you, there are always cracks waiting ahead, 
and can bring up disasters such as tunnel collapse or a floodgate of seawater that could wash everything away. So the engineers must proceed with caution to avoid a possible disaster. That's why they sent radar scouts ahead to look for any trouble spots. If things start to get worse, they drill more holes and inject cement to reinforce those cracks. This sturdy barrier not only stops the water, but also reinforces the tunnel, allowing it to move steadily across the giant Cancun fault. What about the alternative solution to the drilling and blasting method? Meet the tunnel boring machine, an eight meter wide wonder with a cutter head that can excavate through rock. It's like a giant mechanical mole, chewing rocks into mush and hurling them out with just a flick of its tail. At the same time, engineers will place concrete pieces in their positions to create a smooth tunnel lining. Just think of building a Lego tunnel set. The method limits the disturbance to the surrounding ground and produces a smooth tunnel wall. Yes, and once completed, we will have two separate pipelines running parallel to each other under the sea. Wait, undersea? So how to handle if technical problems occur with the tunnel or worse? An accident occurs? Don't worry too much because engineers have calculated very carefully when designing these two pipes. We proudly introduce to you our service tunnel. While it's not for regular traffic, it's the behind the scenes star handling maintenance, pipelines, and serving as an emergency escape route. And you know what else is great? This tunnel acts as a ventilation system, dividing the airflow through two tunnels on either side. As 2027 draws near, the grandeur of this colossal tunnel is set to steal the spotlight. But don't expect flashy lights or luxury amenities because literally, you're under the sea, so who will witness? This wonder operates delicately, hidden beneath the seabed, allowing marine life and shipping to continue undisturbed. What is admirable here is actually China's spirit, vision, and technology, all of which serve the purpose of improving the quality of life in the future. We're eager to hear your thoughts and insights, so please leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, why not give it a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. Thank you for tuning in, and we can't wait to see you in the next video.